Here we go. Beautiful. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to 9 Alpha 21. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Ranger Apocalypse series. And in this episode, we are going to go out and um, do another Tier 5. Uh, we've been spent the last couple episodes or so, uh, you know, working on the move. And um, I, uh, I've, I'm working on getting this place cleaned up. I pretty much got everything in, in, in the way of, like, trash and most of the broken stuff cleared up. Uh, I am going to have to do some stuff on the roof, as you can see there. I've took out all the large, you know, clumps of grass um, and went through and cleaned up everything outside and everything in those buildings. I haven't gone through the interior of the main building yet to clean that up. So that I still have that to do. And of course, I still have all the grass on this side to do as well. Uh, but we're making progress. And um, I cleared uh, all the crap out of the way here but I, I haven't you know i'm gonna have to rebuild this of course excuse me so that'll be like in one of the next steps some doors need to be replaced so we'll just keep working on it a little bit at a time it's it's a really good you know night time's a really good time for me to do all that kind of stuff because you know we're usually here at the base not doing doing things um all right so seems to me like i had something i needed to tell you guys but i can't remember what it was so before we get started on a tier five Let's get, oh man, I am like seriously low on wood. Um, I should probably go out and cut some wood uh, because I want to keep those forges, you know, going. And yeah, I don't know if I should do this yet either. Uh, I've got a, a food box and a medical box in here, but I am still planning on fixing up the cupboards and the stove and all that sort of thing in here too. And um, we actually should probably do the stove right now, come to think of it, because I might want to cook something. So to make the stove repair kit, we need that stuff. We'll get some mechanical parts. We need 10 iron ingots. Two pipes and seven electrical parts okay and I'm gonna need one of these and one of these also there we go Okay, we'll put those two things in there. Um, actually, we only need one thing of fuel in there, and then it just runs perpetually. Uh, that's what the mod does. So as far as food goes, we have three potatoes. See, potatoes are always the always the uh, choke point here with all this stuff. We could maybe make some spaghetti. I know we need meat for that, ravioli water fat and mushrooms no i missed something what did i miss oh beef ration okay chicken ration lamb ration beef ration okay so we have enough to make two spaghettis um we need peas for both shepherd's pie and tuna fish gravy and let's see, we also need tuna, of course. What else do we need for tuna tuna fish gravy? Tuna fish gravy toast, track that. We need cornbread, cornmeal. So we could if I made two more cornbreads, we can make a total of four tuna fish gravy toasts. So let's get that going. Okay. So I think while we're waiting for that, I'm going to grab a Rock Busters. Yeah, I'm going to grab a Rock Busters because uh, that'll help us get more material 
And then I'm just going to go out and cut some trees down. And I think what I'll do is maybe cut these trees down just in front of the place. And we may eventually build ourselves uh, a heliopad or helipad or however you say that. Maybe in this area here. All right. So, oh, you know what? The other thing I need to do is get coffee because I'll get more harvest from that as well. So, yeah, let me get that done, guys. And then when I'm actually ready to go, I'll bring you guys back and we'll go grab a tier five from Wrecked and, uh, and do a tier five. I'm going to put, um, oh, I guess, <laughs> I guess I had a bunch of wood in there already. That's right. Let's just put that full stack of wood in there. Uh, we'll put all the seeds and all that kind of stuff in there. And then I want to, like I said, I mean, as far as screamers go, we're gonna we're just going to be getting screamers all the time while I'm working here and getting stuff built because there's just, just the way it is. I think I'm going to get one of these forges switched over, though, to concrete uh, or to stone, you know, making cement. And this one we'll just keep using uh, for clay and metal. Let's have this make as much forged steel as it currently can. And same thing with this one. Okay. That's nice having a having a workshop now and having everything nice and neat and organized and easy to get to. I love it. All right. We'll put the leather in here. I think the rest of this stuff needs to go back into the kitchen. And we'll just hang on to, to that wood. Take it with us. I'm Because it's so convenient to go from hither to yon, I might actually put a, put a door in here. Um, I know it's a little bit weird for the door to come in. Well, not necessarily. Yeah, we'll put a door in there. Because why the hell not, right? Okay. Oh, that's still cooking. Takes forever, man. Okay, well, I, I'm going to wait for this to finish. Because I'd like to make uh, bring two spaghettis, two shepherd pies with us. Or no, uh, t four tuna fish gravy toast, whatever. Um, before we start that tier five, so we have really high quality food. So when all of that is done, I will just prob probably meet you at Trader Rex. Uh, he's kind of up here, yeah, on the north end of the first city. Okay, guys, well, here we are at Isn't Rex Place, and we're going to take a tier five from him. And I think I got to thinking, I think what I want to do is if we can find it. I don't like you. Yeah, popping pills. Maybe I'll change my mind. What are you standing um, there for? What I'm going to do is I'm going to speed run the first half of this. I'm going to buy a couple things here. Yeah, just those are good. Because if you guys didn't uh, watch a few episodes back, um, I ended up losing the second half of our Pop and Pills run through. Uh, I lost the footage for it. Um, so what the hell am I doing? I'm not paying attention. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed run the first half because I've because uh, we already did that on camera. And then when I get to the point where we left off, then um, then I'll we'll stop the speed run. We'll, we'll do, you know, a normal run through at that point. Um, so that is the plan. Stan. Okay. All right, so I'll see you guys over there. Wow. Talk about getting the shit beat out of you before you even get started. Dang. Okay. Um, I'm also noticing something. And that is that it appears like the NPC mod has added 
other types of NPCs besides just soldiers. And I wasn't expecting that um, when I was riding over here. Yeah, there's like a Baker NPC over here. And uh, I thought, I just loaded the, the soldier pack. I didn't load all the other goofy stuff because kind of doesn't fit with our series. But they must, I guess they must come, some of them must come with a base pack or something. Hmm. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with that. I, I didn't uh, intend for us to have you know the other NPCs because some of them are kind of goofy like one of them's Harley Quinn I think and then we got the Baker guy and so yeah that's um a little bit immersion breaking for the purpose of this series so if yeah I don't know what to do about that uh, but I mean it's it's happening now I wonder if there's a way I could go into a config file and disable it so it's just the uh, you know, so it's just the soldiers, because that's all I was really wanting to have. So this guy's actually helping me out, except for he's stuck. Huh. Is he a soldier too? I think so. Okay, well, I mean... I guess, you know, if we're going to have the NPC mod and the soldiers, we might have to put up with these other goofy, goofy things, too. We'll just have to kind of ignore them, I guess. <laughs> Don't know what else to do. Anyway, um, yeah, this is empty. So is this the place? This must have been the one that we uh, did last time. Yeah, it is because all this stuff's looted. This looted too? Yes, it is. Okay. So, yeah, let's go ahead and speed run this, guys, up until the point that we left off. And then we'll finish the rest of it in, in normal speed. Enjoy the speed run.
Okay, guys, so this is where, um, pretty much where I left off in uh, the last time we made, uh, uh, attempted to do this, uh, <coughs> excuse me, this quest. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to run back up to the bike and drop off. Oh, look at all that good stuff. Um, that's right, we're supposed to bang that so we can get some acid. I should have actually done that when we came back. What is not really that big of a deal? Six plastic is not really that big of a deal. Um, let's grab this and turn it into one of these. The steroids are pretty good. Definitely want the recog, and I really kind of want the coffee too. I guess... <clears throat> Excuse me, I guess this will stay here, though. Yeah, I don't think that's going to despawn anytime soon. So, yeah, let's run back up, drop off, and then we'll come back and proceed in the normal fashion. Oh, frick. I don't actually have any blocks on me to, to bridge that. I'm just going to break this out. My parkour, I jumped, just jumped too high with the parkour is a problem. Okay. There we go. Oh, it did despawn. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think it would. Oh, we lost our recog out of the deal. All right, whatever. It is what it is. Okay, there was a couple of things here. I mean, we grabbed that, but that's not a big deal. Definitely wanted that, though. You just, it's a 
freaking cardinal cinder. Ooh, look at that. Wait a minute. Are those the mines I set there last time? I think they are. Hmm. That's weird that they didn't reset. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's a cardinal sin to pass up duct tape in this game. Never, ever, ever, ever do it. Okay, so we know what's going to happen. As soon as we open this door, we're going to get some nasties. So let's just make sure everybody's loaded up here. And I really should be keeping these um, down here, too. What we could do, I, sh I can actually make some... Let's actually make some blocks. Maybe what we'll do is we'll see if we can block the door just long enough to throw some bombs in there at those guys. Ah, shit. I left my... A nail gun back up the thing. Okay. Here we go. Beautiful. That worked beautifully. Okay. Little medical pile up here. Uh, just going to do this. This is a real pain in the butt. Can I get... There we go. Okay. All that for a cloth bandage. <laughs> okay, let's open all these pass and gases. Hopefully we'll get some engine magazines. Or vehicle magazines. There we go. Handy land. Salvaging tools. Salva or harvesting tools. Get rid of that. All right. Here we go. So, yeah, I, I don't know if I had done this on camera before I ended the first part of that at last episode that we did this, but I had put three of these down here. So <clears throat> what we might, might want to do if we re retreat back through here is run on this side instead of on the other side. To see if we can use them. Because once you put them down, you can't pick them back up. See, there's no way I can pick that back up. Okay, here we go. Let's proceed. I'm not going to split this episode up either. This is just going to be a long episode, guys. Because that's what I did last time and I lost it. Not that that's likely to happen again, but it's possible. So we're just going to keep going until we finish the whole thing. So enjoy the long episode for those of you who like them. Most of you don't mind. All right. Grab this. I uh, don't really want any of that stuff, actually. Don't want that either. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else there that's phantasmagorical. Uh, I don't think we can open this up. Yeah, we gotta go through here. Okay, there's some Zeke's, or a Zeke in here. Not lootable. Okay, storeroom. With nothing good in it. Except for some trash, which that's shit. Yeah, we'll take the plastic. That we can take and sell. Okay, we got a working vending machine here. Oh, and there's our satchel too. Okay, we got that taken care of. Um, awesome sauce, learn a lecture, moonshine. Don't really need any of this stuff. We could, uh... Let's just buy a couple of those to get our hydration topped off. And we'll save the red teas. And let's also... We have 44 seconds left on this critical. 
let's let that critical wear off and then we'll maybe eat that spaghetti just to clear up the spot plus we'll get healing for it too okay we'll do a quick loot in here i'm not going to take the bones uh none of that's lootable that's lootable nope don't want the stones no bones and no stones Okay, I think we can move through this hallway without <coughs> excuse me, without hindrance until we get over this way. More bones. Okay, so what we're gonna do is open this. And this, this is the room of the fat loots, but we are not done yet. There's still a lot more to do in here. So this is a trigger situation. It doesn't matter how stealthy I am. As soon as I kill one of these guys, it's going to wake a bunch of them up. So what we're going to do is run back through here and see if we can draw some of them over the landmines and then go further back up the hallway uh, where we have those... Um, fuel drums and see if we can use those to blow them up and then we'll make our stand against them on the stairwell let's grab our sniper rifle and um uh, well you know what before we do that let's let's just try this i don't know oh okay so it didn't trigger him See, the last time I did this, I used the sniper, and it must have just, even though it has a silencer on it, it still must have been too loud. Okay, so if we can pick one or two of these off now, that would be great. Can't really get a headshot on that guy. And I can't... Really see anybody else that's all those NPCs well let's see what happens if we pop this guy we just get his attention okay we got him all right well that's two less we have to worry about the rest of them are kind of all up in these little cubby hole places but if we can keep getting some sneaks off then that would be good. Um, I don't know about this NPC business, you guys. I'm um, I'm starting to have second thoughts. I mean, it, it, it's fun for the role play, you know, with with the soldiers and stuff. But there's too many of them. For first of all, I think they're lagging my game a little bit, and I don't. I completely don't like the idea of the goofy ones, you know, the Bakers and the Harley Quins and stuff, because it just doesn't fit with the theme of our playthrough here so we might have to rethink that i don't know we'll see okay that woke up a bunch down there i'm just trying to yeah, that, that's like the whole kit and caboodle, isn't it? I'm going to try and draw them across my landmines here. Oh, they didn't go off. What the hell? So they're all coming through there. Where's my grenades? Shit. Okay. If we can get a few to run by here, we could blow up this thing. Where in the hell do they all go, though? Hmm. 
Hmm, they path in a different place than I was expecting them to. They can't get out that way because that's where the, the escape hatch is. Can I... If I can pop this open, I can throw a grenade in there. Ouch. Alright. Yeah, that killed some of them. That's really weird that they went some on some weird, different pathway. Hey, can we reach that through here? Yep. Oh, these guys are still down here. Took one of them out. All right, he's dead. So we still have two at large here. Not exactly sure where they are. You see? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's just go back this way then. Oh, we need to check this. Nice. Take that. Get all that paper. Yeah, these must be duds because they didn't go off. But they're not supposed to be there anyways because they should have reset when the POI reset. Okay, let's open that up for the shortcut. Oh, did he fall down below? I don't think so because they they'd they'd come up the ladder. Yeah. So they're stuck somewhere else. Okay, I think we woke up a few more here. Oh, there they are. Okay. All the lab, lab zombos, my goodness. Okay. So that took care of that batch. We got that guy in there. that door here let's deal with him okay so we took him out 
And there's usually a really nasty, like, irradiated cop bombo in there. Oh, another one here. Alright, he's dead. Yeah, we got uh, a big boy zombo here. Any chance we can open that door without waking him up? I don't know. Let's see here. Well, what we could do is put one of these down. Okay. He'll one-shot that block, though. So what if we... Try that. Didn't kill him. Unbelievable. Softened him up pretty good, though. Okay, so we still have a red dot over that way somewhere. Where the hell is my axe? Here it is. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, that should be damaged. up that way. This goes back into the loot room. know where everybody's coming from. There they are. Okay, we got three more Zeeks that way. This is that other room. And that just leads um, out of the POI. That's all be at. It's, it's like he's stuck in the wall here or something. Hmm. Let's go up this way. Yeah, okay, it takes care of them. Medical. Oh, there he is. Okay. We're still not done. It still says we have to clear more zombos. Go up this way. Still not done. Jeez, where the heck are they all at? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, we got some yellow dots. Um, we really don't need that buckshot. We don't really need that iron. We don't need one piece of cloth. But we also don't need oil shale either, because that's very easily gotten. All right, there's a 
so I'll go in there. And another one over this way. Somewhere in this room, I think. It shows up there. Hmm. Did they fall out of the ceiling up there or something? Or are they just on the upper floor? All right, well, let's um let's go unload. Cuz we're going to need to do that anyways before we can get the main loot. So this other zombo appears to be upstairs. Somehow or another we missed it. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't go into this office, did I? Another one. There we go. That concludes the quest. Okay, let's go down and get our fat loots. I think we'll go back down the back way. Okay, let's take the eye candy. We already got our luckies on. And see what we get. Oh, look at that. Wow. I'll take it. Oh my goodness, you guys. I told you, I said, if we find a really good 762 weapon, we might have to respec. And, well, 762 weapons don't get any better than that in this game. Nice. Good lord, we found a purple auto shotgun and a purple M60. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, how the heck do we get up here? It's kind of tricky because of all the stuff. All right, we're going to have to go this way, I think. I think we can jump up here. There we go. All right, let's check these crates. And the fat loots. Wow. Two super, super good purple weapons. We haven't even opened up the main loot yet either. Uh, the main loot crate. This is awesome because this means I can make the diamond tip weapon thingy now. Armor. And then, what is this? Dart trap bundle. Alright, well we might be able to make use of that in an upcoming horde night. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, nope, can't go that way. I'll meet you guys over at the trader for the trade in. All right, wrecked. Holy shit! I thought you were a zombie. Mm. What do we get here? We agree your first job was for free. A very nice impact Man, driver. This is all I can spare. Um, that's definitely going to be by far the best thing here. Um, even though we don't need another blue one. Uh, we can make a lot of money off of it. We can make the steel. We don't need another polymer spring. I mean, this would always be good, but... Yeah, I think that's what we better take. Okay. Let's see. Next tier five. Let's do something new that we have not done yet. Uh, we got a fetch and clear here. What is this? Vanity Tower. Let's do it. Good luck. I do not, uh, I know nothing about Vanity Terry, a Tower. I've never seen anybody else do it. I haven't done it myself. So it'll be a brand new experience and lots of fun. But guys, we are out of time in this episode. So I'm going to let you guys go here and go back to the base, get situated, and um, I want these oh shits. I want the health bars too. Okay. Uh, and then, let's see, what time is it? It's 9.20 on day 53. 
Yeah, we have time. Uh, we are going to have to start thinking about the next Horde Knight fairly soon, though, and I do have, I do have plans for that. But what I have planned, uh, we're not almost certainly not going to be able to get it built before the Horde Knight actually starts. So I'm going to have to come up with a different, a different plan in the meantime, and that plan might. In, oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Lucky looter, baby. <laughs> I'm going to have to come back and grab that. Um, that plan might be, and, and I do this on occasion. If you guys have watched me all along, you know I do. I might take a Horde Knight off if I can't come up with a good solution. But, again, um, I have a really cool... Well, at least I think it is a really cool horde base planned for what will probably ultimately be our our permanent horde base. But it's going to take me a little while to build it. So if I don't have a solution for this upcoming horde night, then we might, like I said, we might take it off. Oh, shit. Okay. And what that means is we basically find a, a real stout building and we just camp out on top of it and sit down in a lawn chair and have a beer and enjoy the show and hope that the, the building doesn't come down on us. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, if I can come up with a, a solution, um, we'll definitely do the Horde Knight. If not, um, then we might take that off and then, you know, get ready for it for the next time. And, I, you know, it's not that I want to take the Horde Knight off because we get so much XP on Horde Knight. It's so worth doing. What am I doing? I don't want to talk to that asshole. Uh, we're coming back over to here to get that purple pistol. My goodness. So right now we have this blue pistol. And the purple pistol is actually not as good as the blue pistol. Really? Why the hell does this game do that? Okay, one thing that might make it better, though, does it have another mod slot? It has... It's got four mod slots. This only has three. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. It, it depends upon what the fourth mod is, if it makes it better or not. It could end up making it a little better, or it could end up making it just exactly the same. So, yeah, I'll have to play around with that and see what we can come up with. But anyways, I'm going to let you guys go here. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.